Hey everybody, it's Taylor here today. Thanks for stopping by to check out one of our new videos. Uh, today I am here because I wanna introduce you to the latest calendar concept from Tailored Expressions. Uh, over the years, if you guys have been around and paid attention to Tailored Expressions, you might recognize some of our calendar products. We have become known for our calendars, I would say. It's always been something that I love to gift, and so we try to come up with fun products each year for making calendars. I think it's one of those things that, you know, it's really fun for recipients because they get to enjoy it and put it on display all year long. So you might be familiar with some of the things you see here. These are our mini tear-off calendars and they include 10 calendars in a set. So it has every month and you just rip off the month when it's finished. Now this one is our three by four calendar and it has each month individually printed on a separate piece of cardstock that measures three by four. So those are a couple of our more popular products for calendars and each year we continue updating those with the new year so you might even already have these 2018 versions. So when we were thinking about new products for calendars this year we decided it would be really kind of fun to do something to display a calendar. So we have our display easel and I am going to just show you what that looks like and kind of how it works. So this is the easel here. I guess this is the packaging file and you can see there's the die when I flip it over. And this is what the easel looks like put together. So you can kind of see here on the side, it gets adhered together so that it has a base that stands upright on a desktop or a countertop or wherever you might want to display your calendar. So the display easel works with, you can see here, our mini tear off calendar. And then I have adhered just a piece of art, a piece, a design that would remain the same throughout the whole year. So then each, as each month passes, you would simply tear this off and this part at the top would remain the same. But we also wanted this to be versatile for something that you wanted to switch out the design every month. So if I turn this over, now normally, you wouldn't do this on the same easel, but I'm doing it for illustration purposes here, so I didn't make two different easels. But if I turn it over and show you this side, I have adhered a small ledge that also comes with the die set. I just adhered that straight to the easel, and that can be used to display things like our three by four calendar. So it just sits right on that ledge, uh, props it up just perfectly, on there and then when January is over you can switch to February and then March and so on and so forth. I made one for every single month of the year and I want to show those to you because this is the other product we have come out with for this release. I know we have lots of fans of grumplings out there so we now have this set calendar grumplings. And this includes kind of a grumpy or a funny character with a funny little sentiment to go with each month out of the year. So I showed you already January, February, March, and April. And then I'll keep going on with May, June, July, and August. And then the rest of the month here. Now I have this project up on the Tailored Expressions Gallery, so you can certainly check out all of these for details if you wanted to make this specific project, you could certainly do that. I used a few other die sets to accent. We have our Build a Calendar die set, which was released a couple years ago with calendar critters and works really well with these guys too, which are sized to fit in this small space. So that's our calendar grumplings and it just fits right there on that ledge of the easel. You could certainly decorate the back part of your easel more as well. I would recommend cutting it from a hundred pound card stock because that's gonna really give it some stability and strength to sit upright then on your, on your tabletop. Now one other thing I wanted to show you before we get to actually assembling this uh, you can also use this to display little works of art, like perhaps an ATC card, or if you have some of our watercolor panels, those are also sized at three by four, and you can 
display those nicely and kind of switch those out off and on a nice sentiment or um, encouraging quote or something like that. So also think of this as a way to display little pieces of art. Okay, I'm gonna clear all of this stuff out just a moment and then I'm gonna show you actually how to assemble this easel. I showed you before that this is what the die looks like when you receive it. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your wire snips and just snip out the inner portions of that die so that you are left with this piece that looks like this. And this is what's gonna create your easel. So you're gonna die cut this twice from cardstock and I have it already die cut here from our Earl Grey cardstock. You can see it has, maybe you can or can't see, I'm not sure what the video shows exactly, but it does have impress lines so that it makes it easy to fold. So I'm just gonna fold it on those impress lines. There's one there at the top, and then there's two down here for the bottom that holds up the easel. So I'm gonna do that on each of these guys. Just give it a nice crease and then fold this bottom part here, just like that. Now after you have these cut out, they just go together very, very simply. So this top part fits together just like this. Now if you didn't want it, see when I do this, you can see how I've adhered them so that it shows they're on top of each other. Another way to do this would be to adhere them like this, if you wanted your easel more pointed at the top, you could do that. I did find that I got a little bit more stability from my easel if I gave it a little bit more width at the top, which is why I like to adhere them like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my, I'm just using a Scotch Dot Runner. Of course you could use the sticky tape, um, but really I don't think you need, you're not gonna put anything too heavy on here, so, um, the stronger adhesives aren't really necessary. So I am gonna just adhere that down. Now one of the things uh, that might be confusing, you I would recommend not adhering the legs exactly together. You can see how that creates kind of a small um, opening here. And you wanna expand those legs out and adhere them a little bit farther out so that your base is wider, which gives it a little bit more stability once again. Keep using that stability word, but that's the key to this easel. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive toward the bottom of each of these legs. And then I'm gonna flip that around and adhere that together. You do wanna try to make sure that you get each of the legs adhered in about the same spot, just to make the base of your uh, display easel consistent. So there you have the easel itself and that just sits up nicely on your desktop. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was that ledge that I put on the other easel that I showed you. So this is actually what the ledge looks like before, uh, before it's cut out of cardstock and put onto your calendar, this easel. So here's what that looks like. I cut it out of Earl Grey and I'm gonna go ahead and fold that on those impression lines. This one's a little bit tricky in the front because of the bracketed front, but you just kind of gently fold that up. And then you're left with this small piece. You want the ledge here in the front, this small bracketed part to face the front of your easel. And then you want that plain portion here just to be adhered to the back of the easel. So I am gonna, I like to take, if I have a calendar, even if you don't have it completed, I like to kind of center it on there to help me decide where to put my ledge. And that's about where I'd like it to sit. So I'm gonna put my ledge on right about there and just center that guy on there. And again, you're not displaying anything really heavy on this ledge, so there's not a lot of need for heavy adhesives, and uh, you really don't have to worry about it falling down. Um, now it is difficult, I will say, 
you will not be able to display an entire um, set of calendar months on the easel. You will have to store the calendar months that are not in use. You'll have to just um, slip those inside the base of the easel so that they can be easily changed out when the month arrives. Otherwise, um, if you tried to display all of them on the front of that easel, it would tip the easel over. So that is the latest, the latest calendar product from Tailored Expressions, the display easel. You can check it out on our website at tailoredexpressions.com. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you back here. Bye-bye.